हेलो एवरी वन आई मिस एज सुनीता डोर द टॉपिक कवर्ड हेयर इज द सेंटाइल्स डायरेक्टेड डेफिनेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सेंटाइल्स डायरेक्टेड ट्रांसलेशन सेंटाइल्स डायरेक्टेड डेफिनेशन सिंथसिस एट्रीब्यूट एंड द इनहेरिटेड एट्रीब्यूट लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू राइट सेंटाइल्स डायरेक्टेड डेफिनेशन फॉर गिवन ग्रामर यूजिंग सिंथसाइज एट्रीब्यूट एंड इनहेरिटेड एट्रीब्यूट and draw annotated past tree for given grammar using synthesize attribute and the inherited attribute we associate the information with the programming language construct by attaching attribute to the grammar symbol representing that construct the values of these attributes are evaluated by the semantic rule associated with the production rule when we associate the semantic rule with the production we use two notation syntax directed definition and the translation scheme syntax directed definition gives high level specification for translation and hide many implementation details such as order of order of evaluation of semantic action we associate a production rule with the set of semantic action and we do not say when they will be evaluated translation scheme indicate the order of evaluation of semantic action associated with a production rule in other word translation scheme gave a little bit information about the implementation details conceptually with both syntax directed definition and translation scheme we parse the input uh, token stream build the parse tree and then traverse the tree as needed to evaluate the semantic rules at the parse tree node evaluation of the semantic rule may generate code save the information in the symbol table issues an error message or perform any other activities the translation of token stream is the result obtained by evaluating the semantic rules a syntax directed definition is generalization of a context free grammar in which each grammar symbol is associated with a set of attribute this set of attribute for a grammar symbol is partitioned into two subsets called as synthesized attribute and the inherited attribute for that grammar symbol each production rule is associated with the set of semantic rules an attribute may hold almost anything such as a string a number a memory location or a complex record the value of an attribute at a parse tree node is defined by a semantic rule associated with the production used at that node the value of a synthesized attribute at a node is computed from the value of the children of a node in the parse tree the value of a inherited attribute are computed from the attribute of the parents and or the siblings of a node in the parse tree semantic rules set up a dependencies between the attributes which can be represented by a dependency graph This dependency graph determines the evaluation order of these semantic rules. Evaluation of a semantic rule defines the value of an attribute, but a semantic rule may also have some side effects such as printing a value. A parse tree showing the values of attribute at each node is called as annotated parse tree. And the process of computing the attribute values at the node is called as annotating or decorating of the parse tree the order of these computation depends on the dependency graph induced by the semantic rule in syntax directed definition each production a derives alpha is associated with a set of semantic rules of the form b equals to f of c1 c2 up to cn where f is a function and either b is a synthesized attribute of a and C1, C2 up to Cn are the attribute of the grammar symbols in the production A derives alpha, or B is inherited attribute of one of the grammar symbol in alpha, that is on the right side of the production, and C1, C2 up to Cn are the attributes of the grammar symbols in the production A derives alpha. In either case, we say that B depends on C1, C2 up to Cn. So. a semantic rule b equals to f of c1 c2 up to c n indicate that the attribute b depends on the attribute c1 c2 up to cn 
and attributed attribute gamma is a syntax related definition in which the functions in the semantic rule cannot have side effects that is they can only evaluate the values of the attribute in a syntax directed definition a semantic rule may just evaluate a value of an attribute or it may have some side effects such as printing values or updating the symbol table then we write the rule as a procedure call synthesize attribute synthesize attribute depends on only on the attributes of the children they are the most common attribute type in diagram a is a synthesized attribute and a dot t is defined in terms of b dot t1 c dot t2 and d dot t3 so a dot t depends of depends on b dot t1 a dot t depends on c dot t2 and a dot t also depends on d dot t3 if a syntax related definition has synthesized attribute only then it is called as the s attributed definition s attributed definition are convenient since the attributes can be evaluated in the bottom of traversal of parse tree example of syntax related definition that is a dex calculator so here the production and the associ associated semantic rule are given so for the production l derives en semantic rule is print e dot val for production e derives e1 plus t semantic rule is e dot val is equal to e1 dot val plus t dot val for the production e derives t semantic rule is e dot val is equal to t dot val for the production t derives t1 star f semantic rule is t dot val is equal to v1 dot t1 dot val into f dot val for the production t derives f semantic rule is t dot val is equal to f dot val for the production f derives in parenthesis e the semantic rule is f dot val is equal to e dot val and for the production f derives digit the semantic rule is f dot val is equal to digit dot lex val symbol e t and f are associated with the synthesized attribute val the token digit has a synthesized attribute lex val that is it is assumed that it is evaluated by the lexical analyzer the s attributed definition as in the example specifies a dex calculator that reads an input line containing arithmetic expression involving digit parenthesis the operator plus and multiplication followed by a new line character n and prints the value of expression for the example 3 into 5 plus 4 followed by a new line the program prints the value 19 the output printed at the root of the tree is the value of e dot val at the first child of the root till now we covered the syntax directed definition and synthesized attribute along with the example now pause this video and reflect on this question for a minute or 2 minute and write your response once you have written the answer to this question then you can restart playing this video draw I noted pass tree for five plus three into four for the following syntax directed definition of a simple dice calculator. So for the example, five plus three into four followed by a new line. I noted pass tree is given, which prints the value nineteen. The output printed at the root of the tree is the value of e dot val at the first child of the root. inherited attribute an inherited attribute is one whose value at the node in the parse tree is defined in terms of the attribute at the parent and or the siblings of that node this inherited attribute can be used to check whether an identifier appears on the left or right of an assignment in order to decide whether the address of address or the value the identifier is needed in diagram A is a synthesized attribute, and A dot T is defined in terms of B dot T one, C dot T two, and D dot T three. So A dot T depends on B dot T one, A dot T depends on C dot T two, and A dot T also depends on D dot T three. Inherited attributes are often used in the compiler for passing the contextual information forward. For example. the type keyword in a variable declaration statement 
example a declaration generated by it non terminal d in the syntax directed definition consists of keyword integer or real followed by a list of identifiers the non terminal t has synthesized attribute type whose value is determined by the keyword in the declaration for the production d derives tl the associated semantic rule is l dot in equals to t dot type the semantic rule l dot in equals to t dot type associated with the production d derives tl set the inherited attribute l dot in to the type in the declaration the rule then pass this information down the pass tree using the inherited attribute l dot in for the production t derives int the associated semantic rule is t dot type is equal to integer for the production t derives real the semantic rule is t dot type is equal to real for the production l derives l1 comma id the associated semantic rule is l1 dot in equals to l dot in add type id dot entry comma l dot in the rule associated with the production for l called procedure add type to add the type of each identifier to its entry in symbol table pointed to by attribute entry for the production l derives id the associated semantic rule is add type id dot entry comma l dot in in above syntax directed definition symbol t is associated with a synthesized attribute type and the symbol l is associated with the inherited attribute in figure shows the annotated pass tree for the sentence real id1 comma id2 comma id id3 the value of l dot in at the uh, two l nodes gives the type of identifiers id1 and id2 these values are determined by computing the values of attribute t dot type at the left child of the root and then evaluating l dot in top down at the three nodes l nodes in the right subtree of the root at each l node we also call the procedure add type to insert into the symbol table the fact that the identifier at the right child of this node has a type real this is the reference used for preparing this presentation thank you